Nitro 24, as you should know, because that is the name of the YouTube channel you are watching right now. And today, I will be doing my first rating review video. Today I'll be covering uh, maybe just the best front three of all time, the MSN. Pretty much everyone in the world knows, but if you didn't know, because you've been living under a rock or something, MSN stands for Messi, Suarez, and Neymar. Today, or right now, we will be covering Luis Suarez. Now, this man got the world golden boot by scoring 59 goals in just 53 games. It's competing against every single player in the world. He beat them all. Well, just one second. I know you probably have noticed right now that I'm quite a big Chelsea fan. Yeah. Well, also, Luis Suarez did not just get 59 goals in those 53 appearances, he also got 22 assists. That is amazing for anyone, even if they scored like two goals or something, you'd still say they'd have a, they'd ha had an amazing season overall if they got 22 assists. But this man, Luis Suarez, just goes and bangs in 59 goals to go with that. And, um, well, Luis Suarez, what a legend. Well, bless your Liverpool fans, you. Yeah. Now, after Luis Suarez, we come to Neymar de Silva Santos Jr., who we simply know as Neymar. And he has a 92 rated card on FIFA 17. I think that's a bit high considering, well, that so many great players who are very nearly or even as good as him are rated quite a bit lower than that. Well, I, in my opinion, Luis Suarez should be one space higher in the rankings for FIFA 17 ratings, but you're probably saying, oh, Nitro 24, but he's so young and amazing. And he was in the team of the year last year. Oh, Suarez can't say that. Well, I know he's young. And I don't think that is one of his qualities. I think, I don't think he will get better over time. I think... He's reached his peak at just 25. I know it's very controversial saying that, but seriously, even though he's improved so much and he got 30 goals and 20 assists in 40 
eight appearances last season and also won the Olympics with Brazil, the football Olympics, by scoring the winning penalty. That must have been great for him. Even though that Mr. 100% Jesus headband boy had amazing stats last season. Compare them to Luis Suarez and you're like, wait, what? Neymar is ranked second out of the MSN? Suarez scored so many more goals and got two more assists or actually 29 more goals to be exact that's one off double the amount of goals that Neymar scored well as you can tell I think Suarez should be ranked higher than Neymar this year. And now we head to... And now we are on to the number one ranked player in the MSN in FIFA 17. You guessed it, it's little Leo. Lionel Messi, the flea. This man scored 41 goals and got 21 assists in 48 appearances last year. Now, if you ask me, that is not quite Lionel Messi's standards. It's his lowest scoring season since 2010. That's ages ago. That's like six years ago. And, um, well, both of his stats were trumped by Luis Suarez and that is why I think Luis Suarez should be Frank Hyatt but back to the flea Lionel Messi apart from Dinah's hair blonde had a fantastic season last year even if, if it wasn't quite Messi standards he did get trumped by Ronaldo but I mean, that's for another day. And um, this guy has just come back to international football and he's come back with a goal. Like, how's that? I think he will have a future at Barcelona, just maybe not how you think. I think he'll be moved back to the midfield as Munir, the amazing youngster coming through the ranks in Barcelona, I think Munir will push him back into like centre midfield because Munir he's just fantastic for such a young player I think Lionel Messi will still be really good in centre mid but it won't really be the um, Lionel Messi kind of stats and like you know with Ray Wayne Rooney, he's actually pretty good 
And that number 10 slot, I don't think it's the right position for him over all the years gone by. But I think it's his correct pos position now. I think soon we might be saying that about Lionel Messi. But I'm not as convinced. Even though he is the second highest rated player in FIFA, I don't think he will get used very much. So, sorry that I've run out of time, and this is the end of the MSN ratings review. Goodbye!